Alright, welcome back to the channel, guys. What's up, guys? Kiss se ho and honor ho. Fame is doing great. You see this amazing, a chota sa iPhone. This is the iPhone 10. This is a pretty small phone. I got so used to the 13 Pro Max. By the way, I gave my 13 Pro Max for repair. First of all, it's been almost 11 days since I've submitted my phone. Till now, there's no proper update. Yesterday, I had to call them three or four times, and then they give me an update. It seems they need my approval to replace a part. Actually, the front screen. I said my front screen is fine. They were like, no, sir. Actually, your front screen has a damage, so that has to be replaced. Apart from your sensor and the speaker. Now, chalo, replace the front screen. Apple Care Plus, hey, everything will be done for free. No, 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 it will not be done for free. You see this cracked screen, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro Max and get an estimate. This is the surprise. 2,500 if you have an Apple Care Plus plan or else it is 30,500 if you don't have Apple Care. Seriously, 20,000 plus I paid for Apple Care and this is what we get apart from paying almost 1.4 lakhs for the phone. Welcome to Apple Ka Dunya. This is how it is. Second important thing, our Emperor, the BMW 1250 is ready. The battery has been replaced. Front mudguard has also been replaced but there is one more important thing that needs to be replaced tires i'm looking for these particular tires the anarchy adventure these come as stock with the bmw and i really like them because 80 percent of my rides will be on road maybe 10 or 15 percent or 20 percent we do a little bit of off-road trails anarchy adventure works for both of them i mean this culture is mandatory you need tires right and then you need servicing for the bike every year and how can you forget about insurance apart from your emi so by the way i know there is a little bit of hair loss happening right now see first thing it is a natural process your hair loss happens it can be hereditary it can be your lifestyle it can be a lot of stress in your life nutrition so many things for me particularly it is happening because i started a proper transformation once again a couple of years back almost uh, during covid time i started my transformation i lost almost 20 plus kilos the standard rule is when you want to lose weight you have to be under caloric deficit which means you eat a little bit less than what your body needs first thing that gets affected in your body is your hair. That time also when I started my transformation, you could see a lot of hair loss happening. And once again, when I go back into my maintenance calories, everything is back to normal. You see, apart from stress, all this diet changes and stuff, there's one more enemy in your hair that will make your hair fall, dandruff. So at least the things that I could control, like dandruff, if I control dandruff, 50 to 60% of my hair loss can be controlled. And for dandruff, that's a very good, efficient and a natural solution. Just squeeze in some nice lemon juice, mix it with a little bit of ginger, apply it in your scalp, wash it, you can see your dandruff going down. So if you have the time, you can squeeze lemon, do all that. The same natural solution that I have is so this is what I use the lemon anti dandruff shampoo from Mama Earth with lemon and ginger. I've been using this since almost three to four months now. Kali Katam Hogi, I need to get a new one. It's infused with natural lemon and ginger. Lemon is good at keeping the dandruff flakes at bay, and ginger it helps soothe your dry and itchy scalp. After using the shampoo, you can also use the anti dandruff conditioner. The conditioner makes your hair soft and frizz free. Dandruff is nothing but a fungal infection, and perfectly lemon has antifungal properties. It can contain and limit fungal growth. Mama Earth products are chemical free, they're made up of natural ingredients. You can use my Coupon code Sriman 2023 and get a flat 20% off at Mama's official website and their app. You can also buy from Amazon, Flipkart, and Mama's official website and the app. Chirabi, let's go. We are super excited to ride this Crambler. Yes, finally, it is here. It is launched today in Hyderabad and hopefully, we are going to get a test ride. I've already booked the bike. You guys know that. Whether I'm going to take it or not, let's think about it. When I rode the Speed 400, I was so impressed with it. Only thing is, it was a little bit choto in front of this big personality, so I didn't want to consider that. Scrambler is something that I might consider booking the hair, but they can. Let's go first. Let's try it right now. Okay, we are here finally at the Triumph showroom. Actually, I came a long time ago, but uh, Adi, Charan, and me, we had to go get some coffee. Why? I was hungry. I have a genuine question for you. What do you think about KTM owners? Did you see the poll recently? No, I didn't. I was off Insta. Don't see it. Which brand would you not want to be associated with? And the poll was KTM. Why? You can't do anything. The Obviously, the bike is amazing. It's not because of that. The but talk, the talk in market is like that. What can we do? Talk in market, Galgani. I think because too affordable. It's too affordable and it's a very powerful bike. Yes. Being a small pocket rocket. Yes. I understand when I rode it, I I only become a squid on that. Yes. So I can understand. Yes. You don't feel bad, okay? I don't feel bad. because you don't take out your bike at all. Yes. Anyways, yeah, forget about KTM and all that. The main reason we are here is to obviously test ride the Triumph Scrambler 400X. We'll do the 120 pace shots. Coming up in three, two, one. I 
Manish coming out? Okay, so we have realized. I mean, I just realized that there are three colors in Scramble. So the red one, the olive green, the black one. For me, I think the black one looks a little bit smaller compared to the other colors, right? As you look lean and black, Bipo also looks lean and black. But yeah, my favorite color and I think most of the people will be booking this particular color that is the olive green. I think that is the best looking color in this lot. This, in this mat, we have that blue in uh, Triumph. You mean the speed uh, yeah. 400 wala blue? Oh, that would look good. I think Triumph will keep releasing them slowly, yearly ones. Triumph does this. Every season they keep releasing new colors. I also like this part. These print bits are good. So black has this combination of grey on it. But once again, the olive green has a very good combination of white. So the Speed 400 gets uh, 17 inch in the front and 17 inch in the rear. But the Scrambler is going to get 19 in the front and 17 in the rear. And Aditya just sat on it. He was saying it's a little bit taller. So let me sit and check it. Aditya and put it Ah, what? I mean, we both are the same height, right? One inch, I think, off. I'm a little shorter than me. Hey, by the way, you know what? I booked this bike. Huh? Yeah, I booked it, right? Okay. I booked it actually. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I have the booking form. These people have it. So, this is the first time I'm going to sit on this car. Actually, it is tall. See? But you get into that chunky mode. Does it suit me? Does it suit me? Yeah, it was good. Good? But I can flat foot both sides. I don't know what is the exact seat height. I am around 5'11", close to 5'11". And for my personality, it is fine. And if you have a better inseam, my inseam is a little bit short. And I like this bit. And you know what is this? When you hit your, you hit your head like that. But is it actually for that? Yeah. Actually, motocross, so that is the reason you have it. Suspension feels a little bit springy, but when we test ride it, we'll know it. What's your role? Anyways, enough of all this sitting here in the showroom and checking it out. Let's go on to the main roads and check it out. Okay, and here it is finally hands on the brand new Triumph Scrambler 400X. Looks really good. Like I said, this is my favorite color. More than anything else, I love the seat color. It goes really well with this uh, khaki green. Yeah, so it is called khaki green, it seems. Nice presence it's got here. Also like this being matte and this nice uh, USD folks, especially uh, with this color on it. It's not like gold color, it's a little bit of orangish gold. And one more bit I love is this particular uh, brushed aluminium finish over here. Written Scrambler 400X on it. The tires you get on this bike is the MRF Rev ZX. I don't know if I'm spelling it right. If you can see this tire pattern, it is, I think it's a dual sport. Maybe 80% on-road and 20% off-road. Okay, now let's go for a quick test ride. The moment you sit on it, definitely one thing you will feel, it's like a little bit on the taller side. Uh, one thing I've observed is like most adventure tourists, and I know when you're riding it, it's fine, but some how oh, these come in between here yeah. like when you're planting your legs down you see this the way you hit your legs on it that's not really comfortable definitely bike feels like a junky bike <laughs> with a nice uh, handlebar razor i mean stock it comes like this and if you put a handlebar razor it becomes more taller like that that's the instrument cluster gets a kill switch i don't know but it shows one actually this is gear gear indicator i thought it's showing the speed there speed is a nice analog cluster i like that because most of the bikes are giving digital cluster there that's the first startup I really like the dual exhaust there. That's the engine note. Let's see. First gear, let's move. Okay, the typical <laughs> the typical speed for an engine, I can feel that. And uh, this is a little bit heavier than the Speed 400. I think maybe by 7 or 8 kilos I need to check that and I'll put it on screen. First time horn is not a active horn. Yeah, engine is so gem yar. I don't know why but you will <laughs> literally become a chota sa junkie on this. And the suspension is good. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I mean long travel is there. Actually you sit really tall yar. I feel like I'm sitting on a, I don't know, it's like a proper SUV feel. Let's take a U-turn here. U-turns are a little bit difficult. I saw one person <laughs> fell down while taking a U-turn. Thing is, you know, you need to get used to the bike. I mean, after riding for a couple of kilometers, you should be fine. I definitely got the presence. One small mistake I'm doing is I'm literally riding the bike in this kind of traffic, which is actually, it makes sense because this is where you'll be riding the bike. I'm pretty sure 99% you will be not taking this bike and going into proper tricky, extremely hardcore off-roads. Maybe once in a while you'll do it, but for a second, 
third gear is the sweet spot i think okay third gear i'm at 20 km per hour i have already spoken about this engine being so magnificent because it doesn't stall at 20 km per hour third gear ctm you forget just put third gear and you can ride all day long see this i'm at 30 km per hour in the city nicely cruising fourth gear me that too see that pull dude <laughs> really good if you go into a pothole that is where this bike should shine let's try to go into some potholes and check it out before that talking about the position very upright position you sit proper 90 degrees like that very comfortable i'm pretty sure you can do like super long rides on this uh, but uh, is a little bit hard oh yeah seat is definitely a little bit on the harder side so that all right this pull is what i love nice okay brakes are spongy especially front brake it doesn't have that punch it doesn't have that bite rear brake we don't use much so forget about that i don't like the front brake on this for sure very spongy air maybe this bike is like that we'll have to check out the other bikes as well because this is being a test ride bike i'm not sure but such a nimble bike to ride you don't feel that as a bike under you it's like you're literally running with a powerful engine tied to your legs abhi shuru hoga khatarnak wala traffic here okay a little bit of bad road here i'm trying to actually go into bad roads not finding much in hyderabad these days all portals pink and properly repaired good job government <laughs> where do i test ride my bike dude we need bad roads oh, okay our famous gali hai gali mein thoda milega okay there sir Okay that's a big pothole actually it handled it well nice there are more potholes coming up let's go through it okay that's a very big one seriously dude front suspension is doing magic very good suspension setup if you want to jump around with this bike in off road situations i think this suspension will make you smile it is definitely gliding through it so i'll not be talking much about the engine because I'll tell you it is a 9.5 on 10 for the engine. No questions about that. Very nice torque. It's got the power, it's got the grunt, it's got the instant responsiveness. All that is there. So let's not talk too much about the engine. Wanted I'm going through all these gullies so that we'll get some idea about how the heat management is. Talking about heat management, right now the radiator is on. I've been pulling the bike a little bit so I can understand that. Oh. first time in my life i'm coming into this gully so i don't even know where am i lost the tires are good yaar the way it's catching traction is really good seriously yaar suspension i will give it rank 1 among all the bikes i've ridden in this class if you want to tour on this bike i think this is not the right bike to do long tours you can do it like i always say it is always about the rider it's not the bike but i don't think this is a right bike to tour on so in case you want to tour you'll have to maybe add a gel seat or do some modifications on the seat because if you want to do like 500 km a day or something like that definitely not the bike to do handle is pretty good nice wide enough like a proper adventure tourer also you get this nice hand guards over here i think these are fiber or plastic something like that and the riding dynamics are definitely different if you want a very comfortable very easy like super easy bike to ride blindly go for the speed 400 you will have amazing fun on it i would not choose a speed 400 for my personal use because it is too tiny for me i feel this also is not like exactly are that pump i didn't expect is going to handle that well daily usage ke liye i wouldn't recommend this scrambler the way i'm turning this bike here speed 400 would be much easier to do that but i'll give at least 20 or 30% that will be better the speed 400 compared to this one in terms of maneuverability and handling i can understand because scrambler is meant to ride like this mostly it is going to be straight and you want to drift and do all that kind of stuff the wheel base is designed that way see the way it pulls nice <laughs> i really get a smile like genuine smile on my face right now when you're pulling it in the third or fourth gear th those are the sweet gears for this don't feel the bike is being under pressure or the engine is being stressed out will be capable to do easily 150 160 160 km per hour and if you stress it out maybe you can reach 170 180 km per hour but these bikes are not meant for speed 
ride responsibly don't rip through have some sense when you're riding it see if you want to do a cut like this you have to check your rear view mirrors make sure no one is coming behind you don't just take a turn and ruin others lives here torque band is somewhere in the mid range low end is not that punchy so the curve is like slowly inclining and uh, in the beginning and once it reaches around 3 to 4000 rpm it spikes up like that i think see 2000 rpm it is going to pull in a certain way there's very linear amount of torque but after i think 2500 3000 rpm is the sweet spot where it suddenly kicks in you can feel the pull like that see this is what we need zipping through traffic but trust me speed 400 would do a much better job here uh, turning the handlebar here is a little bit difficult compared to the speed twin i mean speed 400 what am i saying yeah this it, it, it's it's a little bit resistant to turn uh, but uh, scrambler's nature is like that so you see i am in first gear right now and when you pull you can feel that it is not going to jump off the torque is linear i can feel a little bit of heat right now in this kind of a uh, traffic situation where i'm in first gear and i've been riding since the last 7 uh, or 8 kilometers or maybe more bad things on the bike definitely brakes till now uh, apart from that i did not observe too many things on it rear view mirrors are pretty good nice quality on it you see this it's got a lot of uh, bounce in it but that comes really handy when you're doing off roads and when you go into proper potholes all this buttons as always it's amazing switch gear is top notch quality everything feels nice and premium no cheap materials used anywhere nice paint finish i really love this white uh, pin stripe on this i think it is hand painted also like these bits over here nicely you can tuck in your legs and grip the tank properly as standard you get the engine guards definitely heat is there there is a the radiator and it is spinning right now trip 1 trip 2 liter per kilometer switchable traction control 250 kilometers range of full tank cab gaadi mein i don't know how much of mileage you'll get out of this but i'm expecting aram se 30 to 35 kilometers per liter but inside the city you can expect for a 400 cc which is a torque bike i think you can expect somewhere around uh, at least 27 to 30 kilometers per liter front single disc on the left rear single disc on the left dual channel abs for sure all led indicators and led lights as well even when you hit it here itself you can understand somehow you see this it's kind of spongy here i think they have to maybe do some tweaking on this bike i'm not sure but yeah overall bike looks pretty good rides pretty well but if you are going for a daily rider i don't think you have to go for this go for the speed 400 but once in a while if you want to take this off road and do some adventures and stuff go into the jungles and stuff then definitely go for this one you will have a lot of fun with it even if you are like doing just uh, 90% on road and 10% off road don't go for this go for the speed 400 i think i'll smile a lot i'll feel genuinely happy when i ride the speed 400 in the city compared to this one and i will definitely smile a lot if i ride this bike in its terrain where a scrambler needs to be ridden Uh, that's my pretty quick review about the 400x we are back to the triumph showroom once again okay i'll be honest i'll be like brutally honest every time when i ride a triumph it connects directly here into my heart the first time i've ridden the street triple the first time i ridden the tiger oh my god they blew me apart same thing happened with the speed 400 as well but somehow this time that that thing did not happen that spark that i i did not get that kick while riding this scrambler i think the major reason for that is it's around 10 plus kilos maybe close to 12 kilos heavier than the speed 400 so the way the torque was playing see the torque is pretty good the power is there you will never use the full potential of that bike at least in the city but that that kick that i got in the speed 400 being a 12 kilo lighter bike and sitting at a lower position and the way it handled in the city especially that kind of feel i did not get in the scrambler 400 but like i said this is for a different purpose they designed the bike to ride in off roads now don't get me wrong i'm not saying you can't ride it in the city If if I've ridden this bike for the first time, I think I would have fallen in love with it because I'm comparing it with how I felt with the Speed 400. That is the reason I'm going to place this lower than that. But one reason you can go with the Scrambler 400 is the looks. It looks good. But if you want like a rat in the city, which flicks around easily, maneuvering is superb. A good-looking retro modern classic. I think Speed 400 is the way to go. Our booking is still there. I did not cancel it. Uh, maybe I can shift it to Speed 400. But the only problem is like I said, uh, it's too small for. 
me at least i feel it's too small under me crambler 400x is definitely out i don't think i'll go with it anyways guys i hope uh, this video helped you make a decision but like always what what do i tell you don't go with my words please go test it both the bikes test it both of them back to back speed and the scrambler then take a decision on your own don't blindly read reviews and listen to my words so let's end the video here and before going do check out the links in description for my other products also every time you buy from them they will link your order on their website to see that they plan their aim is to plan a million trees by 2025 as you know my other products are available on amazon flipkart and nike now they are available at a store near you do message me or comment down below if you come across a mama store i'll see you guys in the next vlog take care